Hello, Music Bear here. Um, today I'm going to talk about the properly hmm, best BST that we have. Um, I think it's brilliant. Um, it's not just that we uh, can use it in uh, Elmas. Uh, so this video is not just for the Elmas community um, because I'm going to focus on uh, how to use uh, Synth 1 uh, features for uh, banks and presets. Um, so uh, not just elements, but uh, for every DAW. When you have installed uh, uh, Synth 1, and you should install it, um, you have a folder with a not that one there, that's, that's one I have added. Um, but you have these uh, 10 sound banks, and the first thought is, hmm, it's a good synth, but can I only use 10 banks? Uh, no, you cannot only use 10 banks, you can use more banks. And that's what we're going to look at here, how to use more banks and perhaps also more just as important, uh, how to not have it called Sound Bank 09 or something like that. Um, and what I'm going to sh also going to show you that if you open one of these, uh, they're actually empty. Uh, they don't have any contents. Um, but if we open one that has contents, like the zero one here, we can see they're just anonymous uh, files from. 0 to 128. And I'm going to take um, five of these guys here and I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to put them into this guy down here, the sound bank 09. So now you can see there are five um, files called, um, well, the number and then dot and su1. They're extremely small. Observe that. Ridiculously tiny, you can say that. Um, banks in uh, the Synth 1 system um, doesn't take up any space whatsoever. And as we can see later, we can even, even make them take up ridiculously little space. But that's another story. Um, let's, let's go and see uh, what we actually see when we open uh, um <coughs> too high. That was better. Now we can see it. Good. <laughs> Funny stuff. You can't uh, move it around after you have opened it. Uh, if you click anywhere, it just disappear. Here, of course, we choose what um, uh, instruments, what presets that should be playing. Um, like that's not very good, but never mind. Um, what we're going to look at here is uh, another thing. Here, just move it a bit more. So, options, OPT options. We open that. It will look like this. Now I have a lot of banks around, so we'll just scroll it down here to where it says Invalid Program. Invalid Folder, actually, not Invalid Program. Invalid Folder. And you can see here that um, I have a uh, lot of them. So do you. You actually have 100 Invalid Folders. That's pretty annoying. But they're only invalid because they're not assigned. They're not at all invalid. We have to remember that uh, this is the brainchild and uh, product of a Japanese genius. And what he actually means when he says invalid folder is not used folder. So if I now hold my mouse on this and double click, here we are again here. Now, you can see here I have browsed to the place where we have our banks. Um, and 
as you can see here these are the banks that I showed you before so I'll now choose this one here sound bank 09 remember I put five um, presets into that folder yeah and um, I pressed cancel instead so um, I just see here this is the bank we have it in, in uh, on on uh, the seed drive synth one banks sound bank 09 and it has five um, presets in it the five presets I copied okay I will now find this bank here in my internal group it is right there and this is the bank we can pick up you can see it has only these five presets uh, that I copied to the folder other are called initial sound and that means I have the space for 128 more presets in this folder so what is a bank actually in Synth 1. It's just a folder. Any folder will do as long as you keep them in your installation. So when I choose it here you can see it says here Sound Bank 09 Rhodes Piano and I play one note. So if we go back to this guy here where we have our uh, uh, our installed banks and create a new folder and call that here my new synth one bank um, well that was its name here yeah. and we open it it's of course empty but then we can just take another bank and we can say mm, heps and copy and we can go in here and we can put them into my own bank like that and we can go up and now we go to synth one and we'll go to our option and this time we are going to make a registration for I'm just gonna make it on top of that you see this was the one I made just before right but now I'm going to um, assign the bank that I gave my own name not sound bank 09 but I'm gonna assign it to the folder I just made and that is the folder there and oops I'm going to check it off here see my new sign bank okay and okay and now when we go into here and say here we can find my new sound bank and we can pair the same um, have to change it of course take it there see my new synth one bank just well my new um, I have a bad problem with my hand um, and the hunky piano so I made a completely uh, new bank and um just a folder dropped some one preset in it and uh, made a new functional suit one bank with my own name in the installation folder so how do i um, create a new preset well that's even easier because now we can just say we put this guy on here so it sounds like this now and I'm gonna s I want to I want to save that 
So I'm going to say, I'm going to write, I'm going to get this guy here up, and say, I'll not overwrite the program that exists. I'm going to overwrite something that is free, like this guy here, initial sound. And I'm going to call it, because I made it out here, ARP. I just added an ARP to it, right? I can even t uh, uh, choose to change the color, uh, because, well, I don't know what you are going to, to, to say these colors mean, but you could say that that stupid color there uh, means that I made it. Uh, and I say, OK. And now you can see it's the sixth program, and it's called Hungry Piano Arp. It's still in that bank. But I could have, I could have chosen to write it in another bank. Because I have all these options. If I choose to write it in another bank, um, I, I have I initiated a new bank with a new preset. Uh, I'll not do that now. Um, so these 100 banks are there for um, just being uh, assigned and used as your own folders. I just say cancel to the guy. So you have not 10 banks with stupid names. You have 100 banks with any name that you would like. Actually, you have much more. And that's what we're going to look at now. So just move down here um, and over here. We had internal banks, we had external banks, and the external banks points to something called test bank SIP 128. Now, what is that then? This is a look, if we take a look at our um, installation again, we have a folder called SIP banks. If I open that, you have a folder here called test bank SIP. Right? That is just a folder with Sundit presets that has been sipped. Just point to it and say send to sip. Right? Okay. In Sint1, I can go to take it up here again. I can go to here and say external banks. And I can choose this test bank sip. 128, it means that it has 128 preset mates. And it'll open it. And I can choose here, for, for instance, something called Guitar Hero. And you can see now it says external bank, test bank, SIP, Guitar Hero. Wow, amazing. That's not the point here. That that was a cheesy uh, preset. The point here is that you have unlimited number of banks if you zip them, because it can take any number of zipped bank and use them just as easy as if they were um, internal banks. So Sint One has unlimited number of banks. Not 10, as it looks like when you have installed it. Not 100 when you have learned what I showed you before. But absolutely uh, unlimited number of banks. Because you can zip them. And that was what I meant uh, in the start when I said we can even make these very, very small bank tinier. Yes, because we can zip them. They have no size. Just as we uh, should before, uh, we also need to um, assign the zip banks. And we do this here in option. And then we have this here, external bank zip folder. External bank zip folder. And we just browse to the 
to the folder where we have uh, where we have that's it there and banks and zip banks and okay and that is what we need in order to and, and of course it's okay uh, and then the zip banks has been um, assigned and are ready to be used and that's all there is to it and you can have as many as you like so Sint1 is enormously uh, user friendly um, that was how to make banks and manage banks and make presets and manage presets in Sint1 uh, in any DAW um, and that's really all I have for now that was also quite a lot of stuff but if you have problems with it just ask on the forum I'm there daily so um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, bye bye